Hi everybody, welcome very much to the channel once again. I'm here today bringing you another game from the online ladder, top of the top. We have two of the best players in the world, but it's a bit complicated today because I have no idea how to call them. So we have the color orange, Order of the Dragon player, playing as Order of the Dragon, versus in the color pink, Rus player, playing as Rus. The map is Lipany, not too much of weird spawn over here, just some good old cliffs enjoying life, no weird sacred sites close to each other. Today, while I was cast, uh, while I was playing live on Twitch, use the links down below to catch me live on Twitch, there was like a cliff, like here, closer to the base of the opponent, and that one sacred site here, and another sacred site there. So I just dropped the keep in the middle, and I conquered them both, right? So we have Order of the Dragon, I'm very excited to see this matchup, I, th I think I never seen, or I don't see a lot this matchup, Right? I think it's very interesting. Rus versus Order of the Dragon. I would give the advantage to Rus. Right? They can go second scout without losing a villager, grabbing a lot of sheep. They can go second TC. They can go professional scouts. They have knights in feudal. They can go fast castle. They can grab relics really quickly. They can have um, high trade houses spawning deer and basically infinite gold in the base. So, Rus, I think it's very good against Order of the Dragon. But Order of the Dragon, they have a lot of surprises. If you're not careful they will surprise you with like four horsemen that kill your whole army right or like two giga knights that can just demolish your spearmen as well so a rus player needs to keep his eyes open so that the order of the dragon player does do doesn't do anything crazy trip wait guys triple scout on feudal age on dark age are we okay did we took our meds today rus player what the hell? Three scouts? He wants a lot of sheep, but I think it's an overinvestment. Right? Because you use 140 food extra. Especially against Order of the Dragon, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Because they will age up even quicker than you. Because the age up price is not more expensive for them, but they do gather more resources than you. So, Golden Gate, but the age up time is coming actually at the same time. Is he didn't mine gold, right? 19 per minute plus the gold from the ship. Right. Three scout opening, I like that. <laughs> they now have both a bunch of sheep. Wait, which which scout is carrying which ship? I don't know. Right? We don't know. So let's talk about the ranks of the players that we have here today. Our Rus player is on the top of the online ladder, rank 12, and our other player, Order of the Dragon player, rank 42. So, technically, our Rus player is better than our Order of the Dragon player, but th that doesn't mean much. Each game is its own story, each game tells its own experience, so let's see what spectacle, what match these both players bring to us. I really, really enjoy here is the Golden Gate from our Rus player. I've been experimenting, experimenting a bit more with the Golden Gate. It is just so, so good. I really like to use it, right? Also, the three scout plan now makes a bit more sense, right? Because now he can just go with professional scouts. No, wait. It's going to be a second TC play, bringing the deer in, because my, my thought was, oh no, we have three scouts, you go professional scouts, and now you're, you just start collecting them deer, you know, but it, it will not be that, it will be just second TC, oh, scout, trying to kill the deer in a spot out of position, and our Rus player just tries to, trying to kill the deer in a place where it's just comfortable for the TC, you just drop the TC here, and you still have access to the deer, or the dragon player not coming out to grab the deer. They have two deer packs really close to each other. I would like to see a Order of the Dragon player coming in there. And we're going to the boar. We're going to the boar. Here we go. It's going to be so much food for the Order of the Dragon. And here they are, walking out with their spears. Ready to kill the boar. Let's see how they fare. Can they win against the boar? Will the boar claim any victims? Here we go. Charge the boar! Wait, no, no, not yet. Boom. 
Boom. Well done. Boar goes down. Scouts? Oh, that villager is almost dead. Oh, but the villagers, do, these guys do a lot of damage. They do seven damage. One more than normal villagers. Look, the scout got eaten alive almost. And now, oh, a gilded horseman comes in. Yeah, and that scout is gone. Wait, there is a low HP villager? It's right there. Can we do it? No, scouts coming out. I mean, it's still good distraction, good APM, good loss, good idle time lost there for our Order of the Dragon player as well. Right, but the thing is now the Rus player knows that the Order of the Dragon player is on the board. But can he do something about it? He has a bunch of ships still, the Golden Gate, could go fast castle after the second TC, but I think the Order of the Dragon player will be the one going straight to castle. Yeah. It is. He made one horseman to rest and defend this ex uh, expansion. Nice little cozy spot scout coming back in, sending the ship back, afraid of losing it. The, the knight, not the knight, the horseman charges once again. That scout, that scout will go down, unfortunately. All right. Horseman going down. No, no, more scouts win. Like, why are we even fighting? No, I mean, it's it's a bad fight, but at least you're keeping the horseman here instead of in your base. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it looks bad to use your scouts to beat, to try and beat a gilded horseman, but at least the horseman is not raiding your base. But I think also not a lot of raiding potential available here for the horseman, right? And almost Castle Age, the Akan Chapel surely helps out on that. The board is not in range, but still. Several techniques in it. No wheelbarrow. Maybe forgot about it? But when you see to see a farm transition, bro, don't go for farms, bro. Got deer right there. I heard that narrow. Oh, it was just a scout dying, so no scouts for a Rus player going into a knight. Can't attack here. That's closed. Can't attack over there as well. Still a lot of wood for our Order of the Dragon player. I don't know what the plan is. Maybe to drop some production buildings as soon as he age ups. Ages up, I mean. It's the Ragnit's cath Cathedral. Oh, yeah, I think our Rus player cannot stop the, the relics. He has one knight. And... I mean, but it's it's different from HRE, right? Because you can't make prelates, prelates from TC. So if it was HRE, HRE would have already like three prelates on um, three relics. So if you see the prelate going out with your knight, you can chase it. Oh, there you go. Knight goes in. The charge missed. The charge missed. Oh, slow reaction time. Bad finding, screwing that villager over there. It's gonna go down, and it's actually very important because Rus player is on two TCs, and all of the dragon players are more expensive and take more time to produce. It's gonna be a minute that I'm push here, and it's gonna be Spearman, Gilded Spearman, coming through for our Order of the Dragon player. Ship coming back, making its way back home slowly but surely. Spearman versus the Knight, that's a lot of damage. And the knight gets away freely. Hydrid House coming in as well for our Rus player. It's not a lot of trees, is it? And it's quite, it's quite exposed, if you ask me. Right? That's quite exposed. I wouldn't choose that spot, but I'm not Conqueror 3. Maximum I reached was Diamond, uh, was uh, Conqueror 1. So they know better than me, for sure. But also, like, you could drop it... Oh no, there is a horseman in here. You could drop it here, but it will be less trees, I think. But it will be safer. First relic. Villager gets saved. Oz, he's on fire. Might go down. Knight chasing. That's a new knight. The other knight died. That's gonna be the second relic over there. Relic. 
grabbing it. Castle Age achieved. The deer is spawning far away. More spearmen coming through. Bro, this voice looks like so much. You know who? Blackbeard from One Piece. Right? Not this one. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be the third relic. Yeah, Roost player not being able to stop. No, it's gonna be the fourth relic. I mean, and now we're going to the deer. It's gonna grab the fifth relic right there. Oh, wait, it's not... Okay, there you go. Yes, it is... Oh, man, all the relics. Plus two deer packs close to the base. Plus Akan Chapel. Plus Boar, which already is over, but still. It's gonna be a fast Imperial. Oh, it's gonna be Keeps. Just a good villager lead, but remember, order of the dragon villagers are better. Relics on double value. Horse archers against order of the dragon. I think that's a mistake, right? They can't do much. It'll take a huge amount of them to do damage. Mm, that stuff. I don't know about that one, mate. I don't know about that one. Okay, more horse archers. It's gonna be only that? Alright. What do we have in there? Horse archer attacking a wall. Sure, that's effective. Oh, that little fountain. I never noticed it on the regnates. That's... Bro, can you realize that the prelates are bigger than the doors on the regnates? I don't know how they go in to deliver the relics. Nice, healing the Gilded Spearman. Well done, good move. There you go, fifth rel... Wait, the relic was here. Or was it the over there? But okay. Other than that, it's gonna be 10 relics, basically. 800 gold per minute for the Order of the Dragon. She's really, really good. 800 gold per minute, bro. Per minute. That's unbelievable! And he's not losing units, if you think about it. Because he's he healing the Spearman. Or Sarchers are in here. Killing some villagers. But the Springling placements are doing massive damage. I don't like the Roos plan, brother. How many Archie ranges do we have? It's a bunch of idle villagers. Only two. Mm. Mm. Like if we have like seven, okay, three arch ranges. But if we have like seven, four, okay. But if we had like seven, <laughs> and we could just like spam, 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 and arrest here, arrest there. All the oh, what second DC? Or the dragon player. Nah, I'm enjoying his playstyle a lot. Or his plan at least. Not only he has all the relics. Not only he got the boar. And is getting this deer back. He's just now going for a second TC. To make sure he is. As much ahead as possible. Now I think. Roos player being on a second TC. He was a bit ahead. Especially when it comes on the food per minute. But, he can still go for the boar, but now with 5 relics and 2 TC's and Akon Chapel, I think Order of the Dragon player is really ahead. At least not right now, but it will, it will be.
Okay, couple of villagers going down in here. Not too bad for the horse archer military. Here we go, they're running around, looking for more damage. Oh, switching to archers from Order of the Dragon is really good. Especially with scale armor, increases the range armor of Gilded Archers by plus 3. Bro, you cannot kill those. Horse Archer doing 14 damage will be doing 11 damage. It's still good solid dam base damage, right? But for example, against the Gilded Knights, can't do much, can you? Actually, not bad damage. Bro, okay, no range defense. And we have plus two ranged attack already. Okay, okay. Bro, ranged units on cavalry is really annoying. Because you can barely catch up to them. At least they're not Mangu dies. You still have to micro them. Okay, that's a good army from a Rus player. 40 wheels ahead. But remember, order of the Dragon villagers are better. And they have Akron Chapel and a bunch of relics. And one sacred site as well, which is behind walls, so it's very secure. Oh, but also we have uh, gold, 161 gold per minute, that's really, really good. He's not consuming the deer, it's too much food. Bro, he's on... Bro. Bro, you are on the berries, instead of getting deer and gold, right? Oh, that's a good raids here. Horse archers killing a bunch of villagers, I like that. 11 villagers already down. Mm -hmm. Where is the rest of the... Oh no. Oh no. A Rus player has no army to deal with this. He's gonna get obliterated. Here we go. He's... Oh, and he's not paying attention. He wants to go Imperial. He's not even using that army over there. Oh my god. Oh, there you go. The GG. As soon as the prelates were arriving, he knew the game was over. Guys, thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. Catch me live on Twitch and I see you soon.